Pablo Lopez got babbled to death here in the second inning. Uh, and this was the difference of the game. This uh, There was a little bleeder that goes through the middle for a run. And then a little later on, a little bloop. A little bases loaded bloop that scores two runs. And those three runs were all the Tigers could muster. This was a very winnable game for the Twins. Pablo Lopez pitched great otherwise. Uh, but the Twins couldn't pull it out. And they had their chances, probably their best chance here. Bases loaded in the eighth inning. Two outs, Royce Lewis strikes out. Uh, but again, Lopez, quality start, uh, even despite that uh, BABIP luck for the Tigers. Ten strikeouts, one walk, pitched very well. You notice the odd line for De Leon there. Uh, he got injured warming up, and it doesn't sound good. It sounds like it's an elbow injury. He's already going on the injured list. Um, fingers crossed uh, on him. And also, I should mention too, Byron Buxton left this game with back spasms as well. We see there the Twins, 13 strikeouts. And they were 0 for 4 with runners in scoring position tonight. So another very frustrating uh, game for the lineup. Could not give Pablo any run support, really. Only runs were off Correa and Gallo solo homers. Moving over to the Saints. Here's Jose Miranda ripping a double down the line. He's been picking it up as of late. His numbers with the Saints still aren't real great. Uh, but Matt Walner's are. Uh, here Matt Walner delivers a two-run single. And we'll see some more out of him again. He's just been on fire Walner hitting 300 with a 963 OPS. Andrew Stevenson, former Washington National outfielder, gets a triple here. Uh, kind of remind me of one of those Metrodome bouncers. Uh, but he is hitting 321 with an 889 OPS. Uh, so a couple outfielders of the Saints playing really well this season. Again, that's Andrew Stevenson. I believe he's 29. Back to Matt Walner, though. Here he is hitting an RBI double, so multiple run-scoring hits tonight for Matt Walner, who's just been on fire since rejoining the Saints. And I figured we'd take a look at the replay system that they're t- testing out in AAA because it's so efficient. I love it. Here we see Josh Winder gets this guy looking, apparently, but here's the call, unedited. I'm, I'm showing you this completely uncut. This is the entire uh, replay system, and they show this in the stadium. So there it is. Uh, it's about, you know... Probably running between 10 and 15 seconds on all these. And that was clearly a ball well above the zone. Uh, but you know what? Josh Winder takes care of this guy anyway. Uh, we'll take another we'll look at another one of these just to give you a couple looks. Um, and these challenges have to come from either the pitcher, the catcher, or the batter. So it's not like the dugout can call these. It's Or there can be a big delay between the guy kind of mulls it over. or Nobody has a chance to look at any data. And each team gets three challenges. Once again, this is an uncut uh, this is just live, how, how it rolled in the stadium, too, uh, with that showing. And so he drew a walk on this one. So you retain your challenges if they're if you are successful. Uh, so three unsuccessful challenges. So I could see that coming to Major League Baseball before too long. We'll see. Anyway, moving on down to AA, and Brooks Lee gets a base hit up the middle to score a run here. This was a busy day for Brooks Lee. That was his only hit of the game. Uh, but lots of fielding highlights to look at here. Here he's going deep into the hole to throw across the diamond uh, from short left field. He's got plenty of arm uh, wherever you're going to put him, You know whether it's shortstop or third base or whatever. I'm not sure what his future defensive home is going to be, but I think he's going to be a good in- infielder wherever he ends up. Um, here's a play. He actually gets an error on this one. Another one deep in the hole, an off-balance throw. Such a shame, such a shame that Seth Gray... Who even admits himself, that's on me. That was on me. I should have had that one. Because this was a beautiful play by Lee, throwing across his body, going deep into the hole, and give him give him a nice, generous hop. That wasn't a short hop or anything, but Brooks Lee gets an error on that one. But then in the ninth inning, he makes a web gem. Uh, so <laughs> you see him going to the, to the hole. Here he goes going up the middle, does a little pirouette, and throws across. This guy is really good at making... Uh, throws kind of from awkward body positions and uh, just a playmaker is kind of how I like to describe him in the field. Uh, so Brooks Lee, even the air I thought was a good play. <laughs> that happens sometimes. That's kind of what's valuable about taking a look at some of these highlights. Uh, anyway, here's the notable hitting performances. I uh, should mention that Rafael Cruz also for the muscles hit a double and a home run today uh, along with Danny DeAndrade having a nice game for them. Um, and then over on the pitching side, not a whole lot of positivity for the starting pitching. Patrick Murphy for the Saints threw a ball 99.8 miles per hour. He's a 28-year-old right-hander who has some time with the Nationals himself. 
Um, he, he's been pitching well. The ERA is great. The whip is a little suspect. Lots of Ks, lots of walks. Uh, but Patrick Murphy certainly someone to be on your radar in terms of a bullpen depth guy. Uh, here are the results. Again, Saints were the only winners there. Thanks so much for checking this out. Thanks to all the channel members here, the premium members. We'll talk again soon.